Hey, what's going on everyone? We have part three for our squat mobility series. Today we're gonna to be doing a little toe touch test. Now, this can be used for squats, clean snatches, deadlifts, anything like that. But um, today we're gonna to be talking about it in relation to your squat. So sometimes we see people with butt wink and the most common thing they say is, hey, my hamstrings are tight or they have a hard time that body, bottom position, finding comfort, finding position of stability. So we're gonna be doing a little simple tap, uh, toe touch test to see if it really is your hamstrings or if there's something else going on there. So the first way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna stand tall. I'm gonna lock out my knees, that's important. Don't let your knees bend. I'm gonna round down and try and touch the ground. I'm gonna hang out there. I am very tight right now from my weekend, wow. So I'm hanging out here. I'm gonna come up nice and slow. What I'm gonna be thinking about while I'm down there is where I feel it and what I'm feeling. So red flag, if I feel pain in my lower back, instant red flag, get this checked out, go to a professional. What we're looking to feel is a stretch in our hamstring, maybe a little bit of the back of the knee where that hamstring comes down and connects. We don't wanna feel it in our calves and we don't want a tingling sensation down our calves. Now, if you just feel it in your hamstrings and it's tight, awesome, we got some stretching we can do for that. Um, simple way to test your hamstring mobility is if I brace real hard, deep breath in my belly, dink, let's say my hamstrings catch right there, that's my true hamstring mobility. And I wanna get this lower for deadlifts, for squats, because the more room we have to work in, the stronger we're gonna be in that middle range of motion. So now let's say I felt just a deep stretch and that's it. Real simple thing we can do. I like to do this personally after a workout just because I'm already warm. I use it as accessory work. Stand with a sumo stance, a little wide. I'm gonna get nice and tight. I'm gonna go hips back, back stays flat. Go to the end of my hamstring motion, end of my hamstring range of motion, and stay here for a five count. Squeeze my butt to stand. I'm gonna repeat that for anywhere from eight to 10 reps. And what I would do is add it in two to three times a week at first, just accumulate 30 reps, and every week add a little bit of volume. You can even increase that weight over time as long as your lower back can take it, you're able to stabilize. You're gonna notice by, by, by loading your end range and your hamstrings, you're gonna be able to get lower and lower and lower and a little bit stronger. Now, if you've got a tingling sensation, we can do some hamstring flossing. So this is real simple. I'm gonna lay flat on the ground. I would do this before workouts. I'm gonna pull my left knee to my chest. I'm gonna flex my quad, point my toe to my face, point my toe to the ceiling. I'm gonna hang out here and just do this 10 times. You can re-bend that knee, come back up. You're gonna feel this tingling sensation. And even if I just do it a few times, if I test, retest this toe touch, stand tall, I'm gonna round down. My left side, see how much lower I got? is a lot better than my right just from a few times. So if you're someone that gets a little bit of back pain, you feel like your hamstrings are causing you issues, try those two drills out. Again, the, the hamstring flossing before you work out, I like to do the kettlebell weighted hamstring stretch when I'm already warmed up, post-workout accessory. Let me know how it goes, talk to you guys soon.